guests. Uh, Mohammed Abdul Awal is currently working as the executive director of Noah Khali Rural Development Society and also the chairperson of Campaign for Good Governance, SUPRO of Bangladesh. He is well known for his long experience of working on the anti debt movement. Uh, the movement against immunity of the World Bank and organizing civil society of Bangladesh. He's also the focal point for global call to action against poverty, Bangladesh. Awal Bhai. Ah, thank you, Bidda. Thank you very much. Good evening, good afternoon to all present here in this discussion from different uh, continents and countries. Uh, for I'm thanking everybody for joining us and it is my pleasure to welcome you all uh, in the discussion uh, in the webinar on behalf of the okay, Bangladesh Working Group on Debt and Development, uh, External Debt. So I'm very happy to be with here and I would like to express my strong solidarity at the beginning of the discussion, those who are really fighting for the renewable energy and green energy and trying and planning to really develop a better world where we will be able to stop this climate crisis. Today we are going to discuss on the China-Bangla energy issues and the working group has uh, started series of discussion from the last April uh, this year and organized a number of dialogues and meetings with friends from uh, different countries, especially the investing countries and IFIs. So it is so wonderful to su see many of you all today. And I would like to thank to all friends from different countries for supporting us whole the year. We have been trying to organize an international dialogue on energy investment in Bangladesh with participation from friends from India, China, Japan, Indonesia, Australia, and European Union in the last week of November. Uh, we need support and cooperation from all of you. Hope you all will join in the greater dialogue on the issue. Uh, we know that the development cooperation between Bangladesh and China is growing as business is growing very faster with Bangladesh. We also know that China is the biggest trading partner of Bangladesh nowadays. So the economic ties are an important aspect of bilateral relation in between Bangladesh and China. We know that the trade balance is not favor, in favor of Bangladesh with huge trade gap worth uh, 9 billion US dollar right at the moment. And Bangladesh pressing for concessions to reduce the deficit and China obliged giving duty free access to Bangladeshi products in China. And we all know that the China is investing in Bangladesh, mainly in the area of manufacturing and also coming up to finance a number of projects on energy sector and very recently on renewable energy projects in Bangladesh with a cumulative power generation capacity to the tune of 500 megawatts. But most of the Chinese investment, the last couple of years, we know, especially in the 2018 and 2019 fiscal year, USD 407 million went into Bangladesh power sector, especially to coil based power projects. When we are trying to shift from dirty fuel to green energy, it is the current time is very significant that the China is very much was very much interested in investing on coal based power projects. And China and other foreign backed uh, coal powered plants have been facing widespread local protest among the people, among the citizens, and especially the 
people who fear the pollution will damage their livelihoods and they will lose their lands and their livelihood currently they have and this is under this backdrop we are going to have dialogue on the sino bangla energy issues in view of putting the people first the people's interests and also the green uh, alternatives as we have been searching to find out the way to stop climate crisis and to promote the green energy and green alternatives i hope uh, today uh, the experts and the activists from across the world some countries those who are very close to us and our activist friends who are participating will give us some right insights so that Bangladesh working group and the small local organization, people's organization, and social movement can have some real insight and guidance so that we can strengthen the people's position, people's movement to, to really have control on this investment situation. We, the foreign direct investment is reality. And normally in Bangladesh, as we are really trying to grow more, though there is a question of equity and inequality issues, uh, we are having very good growth, but we are really failing to address the inequality issues. So I'm just, I'm just trying to end here with a special word. And especially I would like to thank uh, the third poll and the Arjual for co-organizing the webinar together and my good friends Bida and uh, Mehdi and all other friends because I'm not very familiar with this uh, this group but I'm in a very local process and I'm really really happy today that I'm participating with this uh, wonderful discussion that will give me also some insight maybe i will be able to use that energy in future to really boost up the people's movement and people's position to achieve our goal so thank you very much again and on behalf of the working group i am welcoming you again and a special thanks to everybody for joining us thanks <laughs>